I became involved in caricature art uh, many years ago. Uh, it all first started when my daughter was in elementary school, and I think the organizers of a, of a fair, a fundraiser at the school, knew that I was a, an art director in the agency business and knew because of that I must be able to draw. And I do draw. And so they uh, conscripted me into uh, becoming a caricaturist and I didn't even think about that. Can you do humorous drawings, Paul? So I sat there in the yard at the street fair for the fundraiser from my daughter's elementary school and did uh, humorous likenesses for the people and it went over very big. After that, uh, I used to do illustration work, uh, moonlighting, which means, you know, kind of uh, uh, independent when I worked on staff. And uh, I started doing it, uh, you know, just for extra money after work. And it grew, you know, more and more. And then at one point, I just uh, decided to disengage from the advertising business and uh, draw, you know, sell smiles rather than soap, so to speak. And uh, today, I do caricatures in two venues, I call it. One is more traditional, where I'll go away to trade shows or parties or confirmations or bar mitzvahs, and, uh, you know, I work on an hourly rate. And uh, I also am very popular in uh, doing it from my office, where people send me the photo, and uh, we plan the project out together, and I do a likeness uh, from my office. And uh, so I have clients all over the United States. I have people requesting me from Ireland, from Argentina, and the Internet is amazing. And so uh, that's my, uh, my story to now. I'm still doing it. I consider myself uh, about half retired, so, uh, and, and I enjoy it, and it's great extra money.